Let's draw typography. Typography is the art of making letters. This video is a more advanced version of making letters by overlapping segments to build your letters. For example, these rulers, I overlap them and place them together and I build letters like the letter L, here's a T. The best letter to demonstrate the overlapping method is the letter X. Think about it, if you were to draw the letter X normally, you would just do a diagonal line and cross it. Well, same thing in typography. So let's draw a diagonal segment. What I like to do is draw the two diagonal lines first. Overlap them right on top of the previous ones and close the ends. When I close the ends, I make sure that they line up with the previous one. I, in this case, I'm using a ruler as a tool. Right now, let's erase that diamond in the middle. Snap! All right, we're ready to make the alphabet. All right, let's start with the letter A. The letter A has three segments that you will need to overlap. So let's draw the first one, a diagonal segment. When you're building letters with diagonal lines, you want to make sure that each diagonal line emerges from the corners of the last segment. When making segments, I prefer making the long lines first and then close them at the ends. Here I'm going to make sure it lines up with the one on the left side. I think you could predict what comes next. Just two horizon lines that overlap and now we're going to erase all the markings that are left. And now you have a perfect A. For the letter B, how many segments do you think the letter B has? If you guess three, you're absolutely right. One vertical one. and two curved ones. Here's the first one. The next two curved lines, I'm gonna make sure they meet those ends. And with that, you can pretty much tell how to do the letter P as well. Let's erase every overlapping inside. And now we have a perfect letter B. Now let's make the letter C. Let's just make a big circle another smaller circle inside grab some scissors cut a diagonal segment and another and pull the rest there we have it <laughs> just kidding all right there are four letters that you don't need to do overlapping c o u and the s these letters you pretty much make them by doubling the letter itself for example you do a big c and then another smaller C inside. Close the ends and there you have it. There's another design element you can add which are called serifs. Just simple decorations at the ends of the letters. Just like that. Alright, let's do a little review. So count the segments when needed. Build by overlapping. Erase the inside. And diagonal lines must always touch the corners. If you follow these four rules, the rest of the video will be pretty much self-explanatory. Alright, let's continue in turbo mode. One of the reasons of using this longer method to create letters, instead of just tracing around the letters, is that the edges won't be flush. In other words, they won't line up as perfectly. Look at this version of the letter F. The edges are lopsided. Not compared to the F that I'm going to do now. The overlapping method makes sure that the edges are perfectly flush. Now let's add the 3D effect.
Another tip is that letters that have parallel lines must do just that, go the same exact direction. Here the letter H has two vertical parallel lines. Meanwhile, the letter I has two parallel horizontal segments. Another easier way to add dimension or 3D effect to your letters is to simply make one side of it thicker. Once you understand this process of making letters, you can pretty much design your own by simply changing the segments that you're building with. For example, a curvy one, a popsicle stick looking one, a zigzag one, and on and on. The letter M is one of the most difficult ones, so I'm going to slow down the video. It has four segments, two that are vertical and parallel to each other. It also has two diagonal segments, which adds to the difficulty. Remember that diagonal lines must emerge from the corners. And when you close them to make the segment, make sure it's perfectly aligned with the one next to it. You can use a ruler to guide you. The next diagonal lines will emerge from the corners as well. Now I'm going to use my ruler to measure this half of the M because I want the other half to be the same width. You don't have to do this part, you can just skip it and just eyeball it. Now I'm going to make the other vertical segment just as thick as the other one. There we go. So two vertical lines and close the ends. Now I'm ready to match the diagonal lines to the corners. Erase all the overlapping. There you have it, a nice M. As long as all your diagonal lines touch the corners and we have four segments to make the M, it'll look just fine. So if you need to simplify it, go ahead. Remember what we've learned from the M to make the letter N. Four parallel lines and connect the corners. The W is like two V's stuck together. Actually, in Spanish, we call it doble V, which means double V. Remember everything we've learned with the letter M to create this one.
All right, see you next time. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. How do you do that? By clicking like and subscribe.